Hey guys, Kills of here, and we're back again with some more Sons of the Forest. So, this video is all about update 8. Uh, I'm a bit behind everybody else because I've just got back from Sweden. And I uh, thought I'd jump on and catch up with everything that's happening. So, what have they added to the game? Let's see. They've added some newfound footage. So, okay, I'm pretty sure I still need to look for some more of that anyway. The Hokey Pokey Trap? No idea. Electric Fences? I kind of knew that was coming. But, uh... Should be pretty good to test that out. So we've got free form electric wire placement. Well, uh, that'd be interesting to use as well. Uh, you can now carry and play radios. Good. Get some music in the bass. Golf carts have got lights and there's a few other bits and pieces that they've added as well. But I'm just going to go and concentrate on the main things this time around. So we're in my creative world and I'm going to have a little look at this. So we've got the hokey pokey trap, which is this weird contraption here and i am down at my favorite location which is the beach this is where i uh, get to murderize all of the cannibals i'm just gonna dump that in there there we go i'm using commands just so i can quick build and stuff like that no one wants to see me go and get loads of wood right looks like we've got our first volunteer okay didn't outright kill him Done a bit of damage though is he, uh, he going to follow me around here? Does that... There we go. Is he going to rip me again? No, he's just going to walk off. That's it. Walk it off, mate. You'll be all right. Giant spiked ball just smashed right now. How do you reset this? There's got to be a way, right? You don't just rebuild it. Or does it just... Oh, there we go. So you go over to the ball and it just resets itself. Right, let me see how much damage it does to me. Just because we all know that I'm going to be running into this. Not much. Yeah. Minor damage. Minor damage. Good. Well, that's fine. Sorry, mate, but uh, I've got the wrong weapon out. I'm just going to... There we go. He's still not dead. There it is. Have some... Give me... Give me... Give me my... Screw you. There we go. Well, it looks all right. Now we need to test out more cannibals. There's got to be some around here a bit, a bit further down the beach, I reckon. Let's have a little look. Right, we're a bit further down at the beach. Let's smash another one down here. This uh, this person's seen me. So I think to get the maximum amount of carnage out of this, if you're going to place it kind of like on a wall, I'd probably place it like that. Have this part against the wall so it swings kind of left and right. Oh, oh it's Virginia. No, V! I'm trying to test out a trap. Stop it. Give me. Give me it. Just come here. Give me, give me your gun. Take it off. There we go. Right, took her weapons off her. She is not happy. She uh, just done some weird hand gesture at me. Come on in. You coming? I don't know what you're wearing, but let's have a piece. Here we go. Oh. Yeah, see, so I'd have it facing this way. If it was flush up against the wall. Put this at the back of the wall. Yep, thank you very much, V. And have it swinging that way. You've got more chance of it hitting people. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's a lot of damage, actually. <laughs> I almost one-shot myself. Why is all the bloody cannibals? We're going to have to spawn some in at this rate. Right, so my next test is I want to see how close together you can actually place these. Um, Actually quite close, surprisingly. If you clip it slightly further forward, mm, we'll we'll go like V. Oh god, she's eating the bloody bodies again, isn't she? V, what are you doing? Ow. So it damage. <laughs> wow. So you take damage of it when you step near it, and also when you reset it. Uh, these are going to be a bit deadly. We all know that I'm going to kill myself on these. That doesn't look too bad, to be honest. I'm going to get another one out. I quite like these. They're going to be a bit of a pain in the ass having it reset all the time. And I'd be interested to know if, like, deer or anything can set them off. But that looks good. I like that. We'll have to see when we get more cannibals down here. They'll be back soon. And we'll test that out properly and see what we can do with them. Right. Let's look at the electric fence. I don't know how to build the electric fence. So I'm just going to guess it's normal system of uh, fencing and some solar panel. Let's have a little look at this. Let me have a little experiment. 
Okay, so I've got my solar panel down. I'm guessing it's probably just the same as a fence, I reckon. Let's give it a, a little experiment and see what we can do. Is it like that and then like that? Let's get some wire on these and see if it will let me. Where is it? There it is. V, can you please not? Hmm, maybe it's not that. Okay, I'll have to look into this. Okay, so I think this is how it is done. Build a fence like normal and then I'll lob these on there. So what is that? This is all new to me. I have not done this yet. Does that mean that fence is electrified now? Or, or what? Maybe I should have... Ah, there we go. I've just connected it to that. So that should be powered now, right? No. It is not. Not for me, anyway. Let's see if she runs into it. You're going to run into it? Or is it just this... Where are you going? Oh, I see. After all that, you're just going to rob up me logs. Put it down. Bloody... There we go. Get out of it. Run into the fence. Nope. Hmm. Okay. That's not working. All right. Sussed it out. I was being in Egypt, and I didn't put that post along there. And along there, well, I don't need it along there, but I didn't connect up the electricity, basically. But that is now electrified, which is good. You can kind of hear it if you stand close enough. Let's see how much damage it does. Here we go. Ooh. Kind of. It's, uh, it pulses, though, because I'm not getting... Mm, that does quite a bit of damage. Okay, that does quite a bit of damage. Let's see what else we can do. What else can we do with this electric fence? I think, like, why is it telling me that I can place another stick? Ah, damn it. So, Nate. Nope. I don't want that up. Oh, what? I can... What's all that about? What? Hmm. Interesting. How many... Okay. I don't know what's going on here, but this is like some sort of crazy free build system going on here. Right, let's... Uh, <laughs> can I electrify that? I can electrify both of them. So that should... That's our high electrified fence. Okay, I like that. That looks good. There's no jumping over that. Right, let's uh, see what else we can get on this. Hmm. I prefer this more than the trap, to be honest. I think that's... Right, that's the post for the effigy. We don't want to do that. We uh, And I'm pretty sure that's the post for the effigy. And I don't think you can get electrical wiring across that at all. So let's have a little look. Can we get any electrical wiring on that? No, so you can't do the freeform uh, effigy section. But I don't know how that works. That looks strange, and I don't know how that came out. But let's see if we can build some more fence in here. Here we go. Get another bit in there. Uh, just carry on going like this. Let's get some... No, don't hit it, mate. Come on. Get your bloody posts in. Hopefully, we'll get some cannibals. If not, we'll just spawn some in. So that's doing that. See what I mean? Look, it's allowing me to replace the posts. Which is stacking it on top of each other. Calvin, how's it going, mate? Nice to see you. It's been a while. Roughly two weeks. Okay, so it's letting me do that. Which, again, is then letting me... Put the fence down kind of across like this. Interesting. Let's electrify that. Any cannibals? No. Nope. There we go. Look, it's letting, it's letting me... <laughs> okay. It's letting me uh, electrify that completely. That should be... Yeah, because it's all connected to that one panel. I like that. That looks good. I need to see if I can get someone to run into it, though. Let's see if we can get her to run into it. Oi! Come on, lady. Come get me. I'm an all-you-can-eat human meat sandwich. And I'm all yours. Or you can just sit there and watch. Calvin has done a bolt. Coward. Okay, so that's interesting as well. It's saying that I can play small sticks. Although it's kicking my ass with electricity. Can I disconnect that so it's not powered? Yes, I can. And 
I can... Ah, oh, it all bloody fell down. All right, let's have a little look, see if I can rebuild it. All right, this is a bit weird. I don't understand why it's doing that, but it's seeing that as like a... That's obviously for that post up there. It's allowing me to put kind of stones at the base of that, this one here, which is securing the fence into that location. It looks a bit silly, but if it works, it works, right? Let's not complain. No, come on. No, let's not do that. Come on. There it is. Right, that's all wired up. Oh, my days. What are you doing, guys? Stop running. This must be the freeform electric wire system, which I kind of like the look of. You can connect up all sorts of stuff with this. I don't know how far it goes. What's the distance on this? Uh, not too far. Actually, that's all right. I feel like that's, uh, that's a pretty good distance. So if I put that there, that is... Ah, uh, now electrified. Very electrified. Don't run in at the ball. Come get me. All right, let's put some more fencing down. To be fair, I think uh, this electric fence system is probably my favourite part. They've added a new boss as well, so a new creature. Apparently, it's an old creature from the, the forest. And they've added it to this, but I've never played the forest, so I don't know what it is. I suppose I'll come across that eventually. don't really want to ruin it for myself, so I'm not going to like spawn one in because... That will uh, that just ruin the surprise, all right? I want to scream when I see that, whatever it is. But this is what we've got so far. Let me just pick up that stuff off the floor. And it's all electrified. That stuff's doubled up. That stuff's doubled up. And I kind of like the way it looks. We could probably get some effigies on here as well, to be honest. We could probably put that up there like that. Get that there. Get that there. That is a, uh, that's a pretty good uh, electric fence right there if I must say so myself Can we get some posts I tell you what I'm not going to get posts there I'm going to build like a light system behind it I think but that so far is a pretty damn good looking fence if I must say so myself I'm going to have to do that around my entire four walls I think nice right let's see what else we can add here let's get some power cables up for uh, for some lights there we go. I'm just going to use a little system I saw in one of my base tour videos I've done. Basically, that. Put a light at the end. Job done. All right, that'll work. Lay some logs behind it. Prop this up like that. And then we've got ourselves some nice uh, perimeter wall going on. Hopefully, lob that over there. There we go. Look at that. That looks nice. Let's get some light bulbs. I don't have any. <laughs> oh, I've spawned some in. Right, here we go. Got myself some light bulbs. Let's uh, pop them on there. I don't think you can actually change where you want these light bulbs. I think it just goes... Yeah, it's a shame. Can't really put it at the end. Kind of annoying, but it doesn't matter. Can I put light bulbs on the electric fence? You cannot. Oh, I'd love to be able to put light bulbs on the electric fence just to make it, you know, shine a little bit more. Right, let's see if this free wire placement works in between these. I know you've got to have this system across the top to get the light attached to it. But if I if I attach that there and I put that down to this here, will that do the light bulb? It does not do the light bulb. Hmm. Maybe the solar panel can't power the light bulb as well or maybe because it look, thinks it's attached to a different part let's get some wire in there let's see what's going on nice little experiment with the electric fencing system here right let's get rid of that let's uh let's put it onto that area here and then into that there no would out if i turn them on wouldn't it <laughs> ow <laughs> ignore that ignore that Right, I took it down. Ignore that. I forgot to turn the light bulbs on. Right, so if I put that in there and then attach that to there, yes, it does light it up. Right, let's do the same to that one. Boom. And then there. And then there. This is tidy. I like that. I like that a lot. 
get a good view of that. Yeah, I like that. The fact that you don't have to have beams everywhere now just makes it look so much better. That is nice. Right. But can I attach a light bulb in the middle of that wire? No. Uh, I suppose that would be too much to ask for, wouldn't it? But that looks good. Hmm. Let's build some more fencing. While I'm building this, I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone as well who's been supporting me and watching my videos and subscribing and commenting. I appreciate it. It means a lot to me. And uh, I hit 3,000 subs, actually, whilst I was in uh, in Sweden. So I couldn't even get on the computer to uh, even thank anyone for it. So <laughs> because I was out in the middle of nature, which was lovely. But yeah, I just want to say thank you to all you guys. Yeah, I appreciate it. And it means a lot. 3,000 subs is huge. Never thought I'd hit that number. Right. There we go. Nice big fence. I'd like the light bulbs further towards the end. I don't know why it's not doing that. I'll see if I can fiddle around with it. That should all be active. Yep. There we go. That part is built. We've extended it a little bit more. We've still got the lights going across it as normal. Let's see what it looks like when it's dark. Let's change the time. There we go. Switched it to night time. My contrast and my lighting and everything is and brightness is all the same. But that looks pretty cool. I like that. I like the lights behind that. That looks nice. Does it make any sparks when you... <laughs> no, it does not make any sparks when you run into it. That looks pretty mint, actually. That looks quite nice. That would be pretty cool, I think, against the walls. Uh-oh. What was that? What was it? I heard some noises. Mutants, maybe? Be interesting to see what they're like on this. Get the night vision out. Ah. No mutants. Just a little old... Uh, cannibal girl trying to steal... Come and get me. No, don't run away. What? Man, she's strong. Wow. Alright, well, you can live. Oh, there's the fingers. Right, we've got a fingers here. We've got one there. Let's see what they're like on the little fence. You coming, guys? You coming? How much damage does it... Ah, how much damage does it do to them? I know it hits me quite hard. You coming? No? Oh, I am literally right here, mate. Oh, okay. Oh, it put them down. It stuns them down. Oh, this is cool. <laughs> no. No one said you can do that. Let's put me my slugs. Not slugs. Buckshot. There it is. Get rid of that one. Eh, it's about three or four hits for that one. Yeah, that one took about three or four hits on there. Isn't so bad. Problem is, do they damage it? That's the one thing I need to figure out. If they damage it when they hit it, it's not going to be ideal. But that's uh, that's pretty cool. I kind of like it. I've turned my brightness and contrast up so you can see, but I like that. What we need to do is we need to get some cannibals down here. I'm going to spawn some in. Make it daytime first. Right, I think we should uh, we should see what it's like against the worm, dude. So let's uh, let's get this cat dog in here. Come on in, guys. Run. Yes, Calvin, I know. I spawned him in. Is it going to stop him from climbing over the fence? Well, I mean, he's hit it, and it stunned him down. Is he hitting it again, though? That's the... Co I don't think he can get over this, you know. He can't get over it. It's too high for him. Alright, but he can bloody go around it. <laughs> right. Ah, come on then. Back through this way. Come on. No, he can't. He can't. He honestly he can't get through it. Ah, oh, good. We found something he can't get glitched through for a change, which is nice. It's taken a hell of a lot of hits to a uh, hell of a lot of hits to take him down, and there he is, he's dead. I don't know what that was. Maybe it's because he's still on the fence. 
But it's taken, yeah, quite a few hits to take him down, but he can't glitch through it because as soon as he goes near it, it hurts him. Perfect. Right, let's get someone else out. Right, I feel like we should have a laugh and we should get some cannibals in it. There we go, 14 of them. Come on in, guys. Come at me. Nice. Electric shock for you. Some of them are running around, but that's fine. Don't worry. It's uh, it's taken a few hits. They're taking a few hits to take, to, like, take them down. I don't feel like it's too strong. I think it would do better against the mutants and stuff like that. I don't know what it's like against demons, but we can try them out. And see what it looks like when demons have a go. Are you coming over? Ow. It's cheating. You're on the wrong side of the wall. Uh, apologies if you can hear banging as well. Um, I decided first day back to do some recording and there's people on the roof building. And uh, all they're doing is banging. So apologies if you can hear that. There's nothing I can do about it, I'm afraid. Okay, well, it seems to do the trick. It hurts them enough to wander off and uh, limp away. Which is good. Let's take them out. Let's just finish them off. You can't run, mate. Don't worry. That electric fence is shocking. Told ya. <laughs> that could have happened at a better time, could it? Oh. Oh. What? Oh, scum. Alright, go on, down you get. There we go. Oh, this electric fence. It's a bit of a game changer. Let's see if we can get something bigger in here. Right, I know I said something bigger, but babies are do. I just want to know if they will run underneath it. Uh, one shot to baby? Hell yeah. I'll have that. Oh, the base is going to be kind of safe. Come on. Free you get. What is he doing? All right, well, this calls for baby golf, doesn't it? I suppose. You're going to get into that? You want a piece? Come on then. No, nope, that's a cannibal. Come on. <laughs> God damn it. Come on. Oh, come on. Get into the fence. Oh, screw you. Oh, bloody hell. I missed. What's with these bushes? Oh, that's a shotgun into the fence. Right. Now something bigger. I promise. Here we go. We've got demons. Let's see how it fares up against these dudes. Get the one that comes around the outside. It's working. Be ow. Better than I thought. Side off. Yeah, no, this is good. One demon down. The other one's done a bolt. I feel like... Kind of completely safe behind this. Yeah. See? Perfect. The carnage here is real. Look at all these bodies. <laughs> Look at the state of it. Ah, oh, this is perfect. This is like the best bloody wall in the game, I think. Okay, now I'm testing it against something real big. Ow. Yeah, he just glitches over the top of it. Come in, run, mate. <laughs> Although, it is doing a number on him. Oh, poor Calvin. This just got absolutely battered. It is, like, kicking his ass a bit. Not as good as the uh, the old blog drop. Crap, he's dead. Holy crap. Okay, I was not expecting that. I was not expecting it to do that much damage to him, actually. That was pretty insane for the damage-wise. That wiped him out real quick. Maybe it's because he's so big. Oh, let me, let me, I don't know what else we can test on it. I feel like the electric fence system is pretty damn good. This did go from a video of let's test out patch 8 to let's test out the electric fence and spend all our time on it because it's fun. What do you think, Calvin? Do you approve? Do you like it? Do you like it? Calvin approve? Calvin approve? Calvin, like the fence. 
Lock it. Calvin. Fine. Walk off. So rude. All right, yeah, so I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't expecting the fence to do that much damage to things. And the fact that somehow I managed to get it looking like this is perfect because they can't jump over it. You can probably get spikes in there as well. Let's have a little look. Uh, you'll have to get the spikes in before you build the fence. It's telling me to... Um, it's just basically trying to link it up. But yeah, you could just keep going with this. Like, line it up, get it so it locks into place. Match it up like that. And then uh, it allows you to do it again, which allows you to stab one into the top. And then you could just slant it down like that. I don't know if that's new. I don't know if that's intended, but I think it kind of doubles up the power of the fence and makes it a bit, a bit too powerful. But I like that quite a lot. And then all you can do is, if you've got some body parts, of which I do not, but it's okay. Do not fear. There is a uh, volunteer. Right there. See? Just, uh, let's get some parts. Hold on. Right, now that our lovely volunteer is, uh, dead. <laughs> we gonna... Turn this into some sort of effigy thing. So, you, uh, yeah, you can even effigy this if you want. Give it some hands. There we go. And then not only do you have a doubled up electric fence, but you've got a doubled up electric effigy fence, which is, all I can say is even better. There's got to be so much more you can do with this electricity system. There has to be. Especially with the free wire, like the, being out the free placement of the wire and stuff like that. I really like the way this has turned out. I am going to have to build this around my entire fort. It will take ages, but you know what? I don't care. I think it will look real nice. Get some effigies on there. Look at that. Got to hand it to them. <laughs> ah, yeah. I'm here all day with those jokes. It looks... Ah, oh. Yep. Ooh. Ow. Yeah, well, maybe disconnect the... Uh, the electricity from the damn thing before you start messing around with effigies because ow that would you can literally put heads in between the connections this is amazing oh i love this it's just getting better and better ah oh, sometimes i look at myself and i think am i actually the villain i feel like i am the villain all right v don't mind me <laughs> i'm just gonna I'm gonna fancy this fence up Oh, I like the way it looks. This is cool. And there we have it. Finished product. <laughs> that is cool. I like that. That is a nice fence I've got going on here. Let's uh, let's connect it up. Reactivate the electricity. There we go. That's working. That is epic. I love it. We got ourselves an electric effigy fence. It's got to be the best fence, surely. Ah, oh, that is great. Right, I feel like I'm going to leave that here. We've explored the electric fence. Well, I mean, we took a slight look at this. These are good, but resetting them is just going to be a right pain. Uh, they do a lot of damage, I think, but not enough to constantly have them around your base. Maybe you're going to have this up against the fence or something. I don't know how close you can build to them. Let's have a look. You can't... Where's the thought? It doesn't help the fact that it's chucking it down. Uh, you can build really close to these. Hmm. Well, the line's about there. So if you come in from about here. About there, I think. If you have a bit of fencing, like... Ah, uh, you can't. It won't let you. Ah, uh, it won't let you. You can't build the fence that close to it. You've got to be a bit of a distance. You'll have to be a bit of a distance. Maybe we can play with them a bit later on. I'm not a massive fan of them. They look all right, but they're not ideal. They do a lot of damage, though. And I'm pretty sure it'll probably one-shot the boss that's down there. Maybe two or three shots. So, yeah. I'm going to leave this one here. Nice little experiment with the electric fence. We'll have to look in-depth more about the other parts that's coming in with this uh, patch 8 and how it's working properly. Uh, I know Calvin and Virginia can swim. We'll have to have a look at that a bit later and see how that goes. But I got a bit caught up with this electric fence system. And I love it. This is a good addition to the game. A 
bloody good addition and i'm gonna have some fun with this so thanks for coming guys thanks for watching if you like it give it a thumbs up if you want to see some more subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one thanks for coming bye Thank you.